Thank you guys. Well, good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today on a beautiful San Diego afternoon. I'm pleased to be joined here by our City Council President Pro Tem Sherry Leitner, our Assistant Fire Chief Brian Fennessy, Debbie Knight, who's the Executive Director of the Friends of Rose Canyon, Janae Kruger, who is the Chair of the University Community Planning Group, Tom Tomlinson, who is our Interim Planning Department Director for the City of San Diego, and community neighbors uh, who care so deeply about this community and about this canyon. I'm very pleased to be here today in the attempts to help put to rest a divisive issue that has threatened our environment and stood in the way of helping this community thrive and succeed. Today we are announcing a process and a plan forward that I'm confident will help bring the community together and help to preserve this canyon for years and years to come. This new path forward. <laughs> this new path forward will protect the environment, help the community get the fire protection that it deserves and that it needs, and give us the final word on a decades long debate over the Regents Road Bridge. The question of whether or not to build the Regents Road Bridge the Rose Canyon Open Space Park has promoted considerable controversy and environmental concern, particularly over the last several years. Bridge proposals, I think many of you know, has been the subject of litigation, numerous city council meetings, and I mean numerous city council <laughs> hearings, and of course, public debates. And so to move this community forward, I've directed city staff to study removing the Regents Road Bridge from the University City Community Plan. This, this will kick off a public process, and this is going to be a public process where the community can review the results of the study, which I believe will reflect that traffic and transportation options, as we all know, have changed significantly since the bridge was first considered in the 1980s. Doing this, I believe, will help provide certainty for the community, and a certainty that means city planners can focus on addressing major challenge that we all face in University City, that of fire protection. Rose Canyon, as we know, almost completely separates the largely residential South University City neighborhood from Fire Station 35 in North University City. So I'm also directing city staff to study 911 response times and how to make the southern portions of University City more accessible to our emergency first responders. Building one or more fire stations south of Rose Canyons is one of the options that will be explored. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do, bring folks together on solutions that I think work for all of us and work for this entire community, particularly when it comes to providing emergency response times from the brave men and women that serve to protect our city and provide emergency services every single day and every single night. So in instead of focusing on those options that divide us, I'm hopeful and I'm confident that this study will provide the options and the solutions that can bring us together. And as we see some of the changes that have happened, some of the great changes that we're seeing with the trolley, some of the great changes that we're seeing obviously on freeway widenings, we need to take all of this into account as we move forward to say, what is the best plan for this community for the future? So I'm proud to be here today, stand with many of you who have been so involved in this issue for a number of years. Um, and I'm confident that when the city council votes on this proposal on Monday, um, that they will see the ability to move forward and do the study is critically important to bring in a resolution once and for all. So I wanna thank all of you. Thank all of you for believing in the city of San Diego, for helping to protect our natural environment but also for helping to look sure that we are providing those options that make sense and that what makes sense in the future, not just what was discussed in the past. So I'm happy to introduce my colleague on the city council, of course, the council representative of this area, our city council president, pro tem, Sherry Leitner. Thank you.
thank you, Mayor Faulkner and Chief Fennessy, for being here today and for your leadership on this issue. I also want to thank the Friends of Rose Canyon, especially the group's president, Debbie Knight. <laughs> along, with, along with the University Community Planning Group, including Chair Janae Kruger and all and all the other community leaders and residents who are joining us. Next week, the City Council will be taking action that is the first step needed to bring University City's community plan into the 21st century. This community and its residents will benefit from added public safety and community facilities, all while preserving the picturesque Rose Canyon Open Space Park and protecting South University City neighborhoods from unacceptable traffic congestion. When I first ran for office over six years ago, I gave my unwavering commitment to this community. I promised that I would do everything in my power to bring you additional fire stations, and I promised to protect the natural resources that make University City so special. And with the community, community's help and Mayor Faulkner's support, we will do just that. <laughs> University City has gone through some significant changes over the past several years. The Mid Coast Trolley Project is coming to UC in the next few years. The North Coast Corridor Project plans to expand Interstate 5 in the coming years and the University of California, San Diego is spending millions of dollars improving traffic circulation on their campus. With these major improvements on the way, it is now time for University City to have a modernized, environmentally friendly transportation and mobility plan. We'll be working hard with the University City community, the mayor and city staff over the coming months to make needed updates to the University Community Plan to achieve this vision. Again, thank you to everyone who came out to join us today. I look forward to the work ahead and to making University City an even better place to live. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, someone who probably doesn't need any introduction who served this uh, city in this community tirelessly for decades, our assistant fire chief, Brian Fennessy. Chief. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. This is exciting. Uh, as Mayor Faulkner mentioned, this new approach gives us certainty to plan for the future of this community. As the assistant chief of the San Diego Fire Rescue Department, I fully support this approach. We need to focus on tangible actions to make South University City more accessible to firefighters and other emergency first responders. This community plan amendment will include a new analysis of traffic and emergency response times. Genesee Avenue, the only road that directly connects Fire Station 35 to the north and Fire Station 27 to the south to these homes is one of the most congested in the city. That means it takes us longer to get to a home or business when there's an emergency or a fire. The 2010 report that examined the city's ability to meet emergency response times, the City Gate report, proposes a fire station less than a mile from where we're standing today at the intersection of Stressman Street and Governor Drive. Out of the 19 service area gaps within the city that were identified in the report, this is number six. So it's a very high priority for us. These are the kind of solutions that could come from this community plan update, and we are looking forward to partnering with city planners as they start their analysis. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Thank you Chief. Thank you, Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief Fennessy. And uh, next up, I'd like to introduce our executive director of the Friends of Rose Canyon, somebody who believes, uh, well, you know how strongly she believes in this canyon. <laughs> Debbie Knight. Debbie, welcome. Thank you. Um, I, I ordered up a, one of our beautiful Rose Canyon days today. Nice job. <laughs> um, I want to thank Mayor Kevin Faulkner and Council Member Sherry Leitner for being here today. Uh, this is, I know, something that is a very big issue and sometimes contentious, so I want to welcome them for being here and uh, moving forward to resolve it. And I want to welcome you all to Rose Canyon. 
we are overlooking the heart of Rose Canyon Open Space Park. It's one of the last green belts stretching across the city. This green belt provides a home for wildlife in an urban area, and the unpaved lands here help protect the water quality in Rose Creek, which flows from here south into Mission Bay, which I know is near and dear to the heart of Mayor Faulkner. <laughs> Rose Canyon offers people a respite from the concrete and a place to get out and enjoy nature. As Friends of Rose Canyon, we have the great pleasure of bringing hundreds of students from surrounding schools and many Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts here to explore nature. There's nothing quite like getting today's kids away from their screens and outdoors to experience real bugs, frogs, and birds firsthand. <laughs> right. We strongly support this initiation of a community plan amendment to begin the process that will lead to removal of the Regents Road Bridge project from our community plan. Let's spend all that money on things we need, like fire stations, and let's give the gift of nature to future San Diegans. Thank you, Debbie. And our last speaker today, um, also somebody who needs no introduction, when we talk about the strength of planning in San Diego, it's our communities that come together to help plan, to help debate these issues, to help make sure that we're doing the right thing uh, for the future of our communities. That's where the rubber truly meets the, the road. I'd like to introduce the chair of the University Community Planning Board, the group that will be working closely with the city on this update, Janae Kruger. Janae? You know, several of our uh, planning group members are here. Maybe they'd all like to raise their hand, and Ash, and uh, several of our people are here, which is great. The, um, I really want to thank Mayor Faulkner and Sherry Leitner for in initiating this and pushing it forward. We've been waiting for this for a long time. As you all know, we are a large and diverse community and we're a big job producer. We've got a world-class university, a world-class golf course, world-class hospitals, world-class <laughs> scientific research, and of course, a world-class canyon that we're <laughs> trying to protect. <laughs> um, in the last five years, we've had six very large transportation projects. Four of them are complete, and two are in process, and another one is about to start at I-5 and Genesee. We need all of these, and in addition to that, we have a super loop running uh, every day with 7,000 riders. We have private shuttles, public shuttles, and buses, and all of these things are changing our driving patterns. We're changing over the years because we have so many options to, uh, to uh, use, and of course, the trolley's coming with six new stations, and we're all looking forward to that. So for these reasons, and the reasons that the circulation element <laughs> of the community plan desperately needs updating, we, we just want to thank all of you, and we're looking forward to the study, and uh, we thank you all very much for coming today. Thanks. Thank well, thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, everyone who, who's come out today. I think this is a very important day in Rose Canyon. Uh, looking forward to the results, looking forward, obviously, to the public process. That's part of what makes San Diego great. Thank you all for being here today, and we'd be happy to answer any questions one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.